السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اشہد اللہ blessings of the Almighty be upon you. It is indeed true that the attack which transpired in the United States of America on that fateful 11th day of September 2001 was nightmarish and condemnable to the innocent eye there were terrorist attack orchestrated by Muslims has a warning for the American government and the people of America According to the widespread belief in the Occidental world, it was fiery jihad which Muslims took upon themselves to do. So we reach the question, what is a Muslim? Times and times again, the very notion of being Muslims, of belonging to the religions of Islam, of being spiritually related to the Prophet, to our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been condemned as a major crime in the eyes of the non-Muslims, be it in the USC or elsewhere in the world. A Muslim literally means him who submits wholeheartedly to the will of God 
with inner peace and tranquility. So, this brings us to the fundamental question. Can a Muslim believer without the absolute permission or command of Allah, it is without forgetting in every rule, there are exceptions of course. So can a Muslim believer ever harm his fellow citizen on the earth? People like himself who are also the creatures of God? Can he take upon himself to shed the blood of others and cause violence and havoc? on earth? Never. If he, do, if he does so without any valid reason like is stipulated in the Holy Quran then he is acting against the very principles of Islam. And thus cannot truly be called Muslims. The well-planned plot orchestrated against the Muslims and Islam with the terror attacks of September 11 in the USA has still this day been the signature line for humanity to condemn Muslims and Islam and to propagate and and energy feeling and fierce hatred for Islam which is Islamophobia. Thus, 16 years later, the Muslims are still suffering. They are being targeted and persecuted because of some extremist so-called Muslims and their association with the West Islam is being slight today. Muslims from all over the world are being harassed in every way. Muslim women are being banned from wearing their veil. And in poor countries where Muslims are in minority, they are being persecuted to the extreme due to their identity as Muslim. They are being denied their basic human right. Such in the case of Rohingya Jaya, Muslims in Burma, Myanmar, in Myanmar, a Muslim minority who are victims of uncalled persecution, crimes by the Buddhist majority and the government in Myanmar. The Rohingya live predominantly in Rakhine state of Myanmar, where uh, 
they have coexisted and easily and with fear alongside Buddhist for decades. Rohingya people voiced out that they are descendants of Muslims, perhaps Persian and Arab traders who came to Myanmar long ago. And like the Buddhist community, they have another language such as is similar to the Bengali dialect of Chittagong in Bangladesh. The Rohingya are reviled by many in Myanmar as illegal immigrant, as illegal immigrant and they suffer from systematic dis discrimination. The Myanmar government treats them as stateless people, denying them citizenship. Severe restrictions have been placed on the Rohingya people's freedom of movement. Access to medical assistance, education, and other basic services. You know, like God Almighty said in the Holy Quran, those who believe and those who suffered exile and fought, that is, and strove and struggled in the path of Allah, they have the hope of the mercy of Allah. And Allah is of forgiving, most merciful. This verse is in chapter 2, verses 219. And the place in the Holy Quran where Allah says, Those who immigrated or were evicted from their home or were harmed in my call or fought or were killed, I will surely remove from them their misdeeds and I will surely admit them to gardens, banner for which rivers flow has rewards from Allah. And Allah has with him the best reward. This verse is in Surah al Imran, chapter 3, verses 196. So it is indeed really painful what is transpiring today in Burma. A Buddhist centered country where they are persecuted, where they are persecuting to the extreme, the minority, Rohingya Muslims, so that they either flee to country or convert to their ideology, which is million miles away from the real teachings of Gautama the Buddha. Recently, since August 25th, 25th August 2017, close to 4,000 people have been killed after 
a military counter-offensive have been done against Muslim in insurgent in the trouble wrecking state of Myanmar. Their agenda is to do an ethnic cleansing which would guarantee them Redense of the presence of Muslims in the state of Rakhine and consequently Burma has a hope. Corps have believed to the bodies of Rohingya women and children have washed up on the Bangladeshi river bank as fears grow concerning the atrocities committed by Myanmar. Forces against a Muslim minority across the board. In their dead lights, violence after decades of ethnic tension, that is since before the year 1978. This time around the government of Myanmar, with a collaborations of the heartless Buddhist Kaji, that is a Sangha, ordained a counter-attack on the Rohingya Muslims who came forward to attack. Due to the persecution, they were subjected to Security forces and the military responded with a huge counter-offensive due to this alarming situation close to 38,000 Rohingya have fled their villages and attempted to cross into Bangladesh and other states. In the Holy Quran, God Almighty says, To Allah alone belong all that is in the heaven and on earth. In chapter 2, Surah Baqarah, Verses 285. <clears throat> if all the world belongs to God Almighty, who are these people to deny humans like themselves a place of security in the land that is Myanmar? Let us see what Gautama Buddha has told its followers and see for yourself how the Buddhists of today have stooped, stooped so low as to deny the very teaching of the Holy Founder. The Buddha said, the Buddha said, all trembles are violence, all fear death, putting oneself in the place of another, one should not kill, no cause any, uh, no cause another to kill. Saying of Buddha, 
Dhammapada versus 129. He also said, one is not called noble who harms living beings. By not harming living beings, one is called noble. Dhamma Pada verses 270. Like you may know Siddhartha Gautama, that is a Buddha the enlightened one and Jesus were both holy prophets of God who appeared in their own times for the spiritual rejuvenations of the people to whom they were sent. The Buddha appeared in India about 600 years before Jesus. In both were found a purity of life, sanctity of character, and patient endurance under fierce persecutions. I am here before you today to show you that Gautama Buddha, the grand founder of Buddhism, was not only a believer in the existence of God, but he was a prophet of God, of his time, and not God and as such. He did teach about the existence of God, about his worship, and about the nature of the relations between man and God, his creator, and about peace and submission to the Almighty, that is Islam. So we, the Jamaat al-Sahih al-Islam, do not doubt the claims of, to prophethood of prophets that were raised among nations, we hold the belief that the various prophets that have appeared among the different nations of the world were the true prophets of God for the very reason that millions of people have bowed down to them and held them in high esteem and respect for centuries together. The love, devotions and esteem in which followers of Buddha hold him, even to this day, is itself is in itself a strong argument to show that Gautama was a messenger of God, for it is sheer impossibility that a false prophet with all his tall pretensions to, be, to prophethood should succeed in commending the love and respect of his followers for generations together. But like it is a tale of all prof of all gods chosen messengers and their religions despite their master's teachings, today's Buddhists have drifted away from the very fundamental teachings of the Buddha, whom they have raised to the station of God. This is also true for the ancient religions, such as Hinduism, etc. 
The reality that Gautama was a prophet of God is never to be questioned. Like he prophesied, soon after his death, his followers fell out among themselves and the true spirit of his teachings was lost on them. Gautama said that after his death, five precious gems would be lost. One of them being his teaching, he said. A time will come when this Buddhist Raja will declare whoever remembers even four lines about Buddha may come forth and get 1,000 rupees in reward. But none will get it even after the repeated beat of drum in the city. This is a reason why we the Jamaat al al Islam believe that Gautama, Ram, Krishna and Jesus were the prophets of God. And as such, the Buddha cannot be supposed to be an atheist or propagator of errors and disorder. On the contrary, he was a humble servant of God, a prophet of peace, who was sent to teach the unity of God and draw the Indian people to his worship. Thus, after watching the multiple video about the inhumans way, that the army and the Buddhist people are treating the Muslims in Burma. As a caliph of God of this era, I warned the government of Myanmar and all Buddhists involved in this pitiable massacre and persecutions that if you do not cease to persecute innocent Muslims and innocent human beings in general, and if you continue to deny them their basic human rights as citizens of Myanmar, and you continue in your agenda to cleanse Myanmar of Muslims, and all those who are not Buddhists like you, then mind you. Then mind you, the times is not for where the wrath of God Almighty is Allah, the Barakatala, shall strike you in the ways that you do not expect. I warn Augustan Suki and his government to mend their ways and to act humane and not like animal less. The times comes when it is them who shall be treated worse than animals. As a caliph of God and worldwide spiritual leader of the Jamaat al Sahih al Islam, I warn you to stop killing innocent civilians. Beware the wrath of God Almighty on you. Your government and the country has a whole. Never ill treat 
the people in your country, especially the minority, if you are true Buddhist and follow the precept of the Buddha, then you need to know, first of all, about all his teachings. You need to, to study this teaching and see for yourself how far from the philosophy and the teachings of the Buddha you have gone. Gautama Buddha was a man, a prophet of peace. Are you acting peacefully? Buddha hated to see poverty and ill-treatment of innocence. Why then are you ill-treating your fellow citizens, even though they do not follow your own ideology? But they are those who have upgraded their faith to become truly submissive to God Almighty as human beings, has been Muslims. Has been Muslims. In essence, Buddha's teachings are that all men are brothers. That Charity ought to be extended to all, even to en enemies. That men ought to love truth and hate lies. That good work ought not be done openly, but rather in secret. That the dangers of rich are to be avoided. That man's highest aim ought to be purity in thought, word and deed. Since the higher things are pure, then it is your duty to act in a pure way devoid of evils which misguide you from the right path. Heed this warning and reform your conduct before it is too late for you. May the peace, blessings, and help of God Almighty, it is Allah Tabarakutala, be upon the Muslim minority in Myanmar and all countries where the Muslims are being persecuted for being Muslims and belonging to the religions of Islam. Peace be upon those who follow the right guidance of God Almighty and do good so as to reap good in return, in return. All praise be to Allah, God Almighty, Lord of the worlds. Amen. So, Amen. Thank you for your kind attention.